Hey guys, Trevor Chris Lee here today with, and we're back with Dark Episode 5. Now, I said I was going to do two someday, but man wants to get into the next episode already. But yeah, I've always wanted, I already want to do another episode of Dark, so I'm doing one today. Hopefully be able to do two tomorrow, but I can't promise that. The episode is called Truths. So judging by this show, when it when it when it when it gives us an answer, it normally gives us five more questions. So I expect it to say truth, but what it's gonna do is answer like a few questions. We're gonna be like, oh, that makes sense, makes sense. And it's just gonna give us a thousand more. I think this show's gonna be able to pay him off as well, because everyone keeps saying how fantastic this show gets. I feel like it's gonna be an actual show where it gives you all these questions, all these things to figure out. And as you watch, you'll figure them out. And then I still think this show's actually gonna give you answers, where some shows they'll go on for too long or and they never answer the questions, whereas I hope this show does, and that's when the mystery show, show that's when the mystery show's done right. But with the description of this episode, it says it looks like we're jumping into more of the teenagers, which we haven't had too much of yet. So we're gonna probably jump in like it's saying here, Hannah takes our obsession with We also got the Noah name drop. Don't have a clue where Noah is. I've Charlotte looks like she's gonna play quite a big role in the show, which she has a stopwatch. The deaf kid's gone missing, the other girl didn't go missing, but she's talked to this guy Noah, who's Noah, <laughs> there's a lot going on and I'm loving it, I'm looking forward to jumping into more of it guys, thank you again guys, I think we just reached a thousand views on both episode 2 and 3, that's fantastic, I didn't expect, I thought I was going to still get about 200 views at best, so the fact they even performed that well, even past episode 1 is impressive, you guys are always smashing the like button, that's what and that motivates me to get more out because you keep giving it highlights it means i know you want more so i do appreciate it but yeah i really look forward to just jumping this episode getting some more of the mystery it's such a good show so far and it's like yeah i just really i would mouth on it but i do have a lot of stuff to watch um but luckily I've, i should be off for a week soon so hopefully i can get like four episodes done in a row or something but yeah thanks for good continued support guys hopefully you enjoy make sure you subscribe let's get into this Oh, is that the... Oh, that's the two coppers who are dealing with the case in the past and present. So it seems they were close for quite a long time, though. Let's see, what role is he playing? His ner the way he is, how nervous he is, makes me dead suspicious. <laughs> when you get caught red-handed. I don't think he had anything to do with those, but there's definitely something dodgy going on with him. Ooh, the drugs. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Got two attempts left. Awkward times 200 in there, fucking hell. Could you make it any more fucking Hello. obvious? What's she gonna call her out? I love how you got this like really fucking airy sound effect with like the pipes and stuff moving. Jonas! Jonas is getting all the gifts, isn't he? Oh, we're in the big bong! The controllers aren't even on. Could at least put the controllers on. Oh, the phone call, Noah. Fuck. You wouldn't want to go to the dealer, mate. I'm Noah. I'm Noah. Oh, shit. Noah. Let's take his identity because it can't be him. It's to be way too old. Fellow atheist, I see. I can respect that. A fucking easy choice. So what came before God then? You can use the exact same logic. Maybe no is not the guy with the hood. I'm just assuming he is. Could be someone else. It's you to go away. <laughs> Okay. Mate, she's a crazy stalker. She's not going to do that. Yeah, and what's that, Catherine? <laughs> Jealousy. I want no children and I want no children. 
Depends well, on <laughs> you end up getting one, love. It I'm guessing Hannah's stalking from like a window or something. Thing, the thing is, them not remembering seeing the kid would make sense because it's been 33 years. Some random kids you met when you were younger wouldn't stick with you. So I guess that gives us that like plot hole of like, why I don't remember meeting him. Science, bitch. So who are you, mysterious man? You blatantly not know her. Don't wait, get deep on us. So is he? I'm guessing he's actually an ally then. Well, no, no. If that guy's, if the priest guys know, he'd be fucking cool. He'd be really old. Unless he time travels. That's the book she had at the start, I believe. See, this just reinforces my theory that Mikkel was the suicide guy. Is he sort of like a rebound? Levi's all about the science. Mikkel's growing on me. He's actually a lot smarter than I thought he would, would be. See, now what I'm just really confused about is like, I'm guessing he is a guy who committed suicide. Why did he commit suicide? What was the letter he left? Like, there's a lot. <laughs> it's all fun and games to figure out maybe that little, like that, that, and then there's like fucking like 50 other questions. That's if it is him, but I very doubt it's not going to be, but that just leads to more questions and it doesn't answer. And that's what I love about this show. <laughs> and then if I'm even wrong about that, that leads to even more questions. Like, who is he then? Oh, for fuck's sake, she's gonna see that. What's the odds? Ew, shit, you shouldn't be meeting Mr. Euler. He's going missing next to me. So you now get to know if there is someone else or not. God damn it. Which is in denial, clearly. Dun dun dun. Here we go. I do not condone cheating, though. Should break it off if you want to be with someone else. Well, we might not have to worry about breaking up because he's probably going to die, so... <laughs> Guess it's not a worry. Fucking run, mate! Like, do you know if a car approached me and that music appeared? <laughs> Jerry, I know, imagine if music was in real life, you just walking down the street and just hear menacing music and his fucking leg. Oh, he is, looks like he's older. So he might be the priest. It is! So now is some crazy religious nut then. He looks exactly the same age, so I think he knows time travel. He's not all as old as I thought he would be. So can he go back and forth then? Why is he on his hand? Is his face young and his hand old? As I was trying to point out. The unaging man. Say yeah, mate. You you don't don't lie at this point. I want him to say he is, but he's not going to. Of course. Ihre Brüste angefasst und hat sich auf sie drauf gelegt. Und sie wollte es nicht. Oh, she's doing a rape rape story. Du mir jetzt ganz genau, was du gesehen hast, okay? She's shit stirring. Wait, let me just go back on that bit. Did she? 
See, that's shitstone because the cop doesn't already like Uric, so he would just believe that. Why the fuck is she doing that? Fucking talk about trying to split someone up. Surely. So how does this work out? Hannah can Hannah even talk to Catherine after this? I mean, Catherine talked to Hannah. See, he hates him, so. Clearly this doesn't go through because he wouldn't be a copper, so I'm curious how this is resolved. Wait. Wait, was she not lying? What? Why is her eye actually fucked? Was Hannah not lying? What? No, she didn't got a choke mark. What's just happened with him then? Hey, I have more questions now. What's going on? So he's not there, he's someone else. No, what's he doing with his little machine? Is he going back and forth with it? And they're like, no, he's got an old, like, body but young face. Catherine has an eye that that punched eye or something like bit of marks on her eye. And she's crying. And now he's got now he's got the fucking box. Now we've got a, a, the mark on the map, mate. <laughs> What's in the box? Is that a radiation thing? Oh wait, there we can open it then. It's number seventh. Lieber Jung, aber ich hoffe, wenn du verstanden hast, wie alles zusammenhängt. Yeah, so yeah. He is, he is this, um, the guy committed suicide. Because she's gone to the grave, so she did adopt him. Man kann versuch unserer Wahrheit. That's really fucked up when you think about it though, like Hannah's fucking his dad. Bis es nicht mehr geht. So why did he commit suicide? November 2019, bin ich durch die Zeit ins Jahr I love I put the day afterwards because it would have fucked up with the time travel. Der Junge aus der Zukunft blieb. Mate, that is sick though. That's so well thought out. I love how they give you enough hints though to work that out yourself. Alright, so who's the crazy clock dude? So we have a crazy clock dude, crazy Christian guy, and then this dude. Okay, so the worlds are definitely linked then. So I pretty much guessed that. I knew that um, Mikel. I pretty much worked out that Mikel was going to be the old, the dad, as they give you plenty of hints about this, which I like about that. But it just gives you more questions. Like, why did he kill himself? What was the other letter he left behind? I like how he left behind the letter because he didn't want it to cause like a butterfly effect. So that's why he put it open to after the fourth. What was going on with Hannah? We got this Noah guy. He's not. See, he doesn't actually age in the face. So as he's traveling back and forth, we have this hooded guy. We don't know about who I thought was Noah, but isn't Noah? We have the kid missing still. We <laughs> there's even more questions. The answer, like they give us one thing, one truth, and like I said in the beginning of the episode, they're going to give us more stuff. <laughs> yeah, has he got an older hand? I can't tell. I think actually, actually, younger hand. So maybe it's not the older hand thing. The only thing I was confused about was this one. Like, what happened to her eye? Did you have that on her face before? She should have a mark on her eye before, so I wonder where the mark came from. Um, yeah, so she, I don't know if she adopted. I'm guessing she didn't adopt Mika. She might have adopted Mika, but she knows a bit more. So I love how in the start of the episode, so I'm just sort of rambling on here, guys. I'm just like, this is fucking mate. Yeah, so she has that book there. Which pretty much confirmed that he's together. Catherine gave him a chance to explain himself. He didn't. Noah's like a really creepy dude. Where's Noah? See, has he aged? Did you show his hand? It just seem to put a lot of focus on his hand. Who are these guys? <laughs> and what does he know now? What's he told him? Ah, well, there's. Plenty more questions now, but yeah, I know the episode 
the episodes keep getting fucking thicker and thicker with plot. So yeah, we have to confirm Mikel's the dad at this future. So we definitely know timelines now. So whatever you do in the past will affect the future. So I'm quite glad that I'm wonder so Mikel kept pretty much to the roots and didn't ruin anything. And then you got the fucked up thing where his girlfriend's now fucking his dad. In the fair, that's weird. And then you got the whole Hannah obsession rape story, f- rape story thing. I don't know where that's going to go because he's not clearly a cop, so he doesn't have a sex offenders record. So this must get dropped. But I wonder what sort of effects that's going to have, and how Catherine can even deal with Hannah. I guess I wouldn't say she said anything. Um, Catherine's character's got a bit more interesting with the past. I don't know what the deal with the eye was. That's pretty interesting. Um, Mate, it looks like they can they can lead things. If I missed anything big, guys, feel free to tell me. Just make sure it's not a spoiler or something that gets clarified later. Um, but yeah, really good episode. I really enjoyed that. I think it was a good reveal of it. Um, even though I knew I already knew that was going to be the case, it's I didn't expect it to be this early. The tellers. So I'm curious how season one's going to end. Um, and even though it's revealed that to us, it's given us way more questions, so it's not been really much help. <laughs> we know he's a dad, but now he's given us like 50 bunch of other questions about what he was doing, what happened between that time and when he's an adult, and getting with Hannah and all that lot. Um, obviously, learn a bit more about Jonas, obviously, going to that. I don't know if they mentioned he went to the mental asylum. I, could, I don't remember. I know it mentioned, I think it mentioned he didn't go holiday, he went in France. Um, so that sort of adds to his character, like how he, did, he must have not took his dad's death very well. Um, I'm sure Jonah's going to play a massive part in the series. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Peace.